Work on campus. Who can work on campus? You may work without a work permit on your school campus where you are studying if you are a full-time post-secondary student at a public post-secondary school such as a college or university or CG in Quebec, a private college level school in Quebec that operates under the same rule as public schools and is at least 50% funded by the government grants or a Canadian private school that can legally award degrees on the provincial law. You have a valid study permit and have a social insurance number seen. You must stop working on campus on the day you are no longer studying full time or when your study permit expires. And this is a very important note. If you don't follow this rule, you might be found in violation of the immigration laws in Canada. So you must stop working on campus on the day you are no longer studying full time or when your study permit expires. Very good point to remember. Let's talk about the social insurance number, SIN. You're going to need a SIN from Service Canada to work in Canada or to get benefits and services from government programs. To apply for a SIN to work on campus, your study permit must have these conditions printed on it, and this is important. Your study permit need to have this, the following information. That you may accept employment on the campus of the institution at which you register in full-time studies. That you may accept employment on or off campus if meeting eligible criteria as per Regulation 186 F, V, and W. And you must cease working if no longer meeting this criteria. Again, there is important note. If you're no longer meeting the criteria, you need to stop working to avoid any complications down the road in immigration law. Okay? And if your study permit doesn't have these conditions, but you meet the criteria, you can ask to have them added so you can apply for a SIM. There is no fee, of course, to add these conditions. So uh, that's uh, information from the CIC website. So basically, if you don't have these conditions, but you still meet the criteria, you can also actually ask to get this information added to your study permit so you can actually apply for your SIN number. More details will be probably provided in the website of the Government of Canada, where it's a choice that is available for international students. Where can you work? On campus means all the buildings on your school campus. If your school has more than one campus, in most cases, you may work only at locations in the city where you are studying. Very important. If your school has more than one campus, in, mo in most cases, you may work only at locations in the city where you are studying. All right? The other is there is an exception if you are working as a teaching or research assistant and your work is specifically related to the research grant. In this case, you may work at the library, hospital, or research facility associated with your school, even if they are outside the campus. Again, this is the exception, and you need to read it very carefully in order for you to be in compliance with the requirements and the criteria of the study permit. Who can you work for? That's a very good question. As an international student, we just told a permit. An on-campus employer can be the school, a faculty member, a student organization, by yourself, being self-employed self on campus, a private business that is on campus, and a private contractor that provides on-campus services to the school. These are the situations where you can work for on campus. Let's take a look at some information of a typical university in Canada we'll give to the international students now. And here we are at the University of Concordia website, the Student Hub. This page is 
part of the website of the Concordia University in Canada. And basically, we provide information for international students in the terms of working in Canada. They have a video here, and they have a lot of information for new international students, international students, immigration, health insurance, and all these topics very interesting. So here you can see how the universities in Canada, they set up the information even in the website. So this is just a simple example that I'd like you to check when you can see all the information for international students. So once you arrive to Canada or before coming to Canada, you will have this information provided with the opportunities of working in Canada as an stu international student. All right. If we check one of the pamphlets that the university provides, we can see the information about the guy how to get your SIN number. You get all the information here. Talk about what to do if the thing expires. Give you resources that they have uh, in the website for international students. The contact number of the international student office, ISO in the university. And this is a pamphlet that is available online for all those people that are interested in studying in the University of Concordia. Then the second part of the pamphlet talk about where to find work. Again, we just saw where you, you can work as an international student, but in this pamphlet will give you more, more information. It mentions something about work study program, and they have the choice there, and tell you the, 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 the information, how many hours you can work, up to 20 hours a week. Other on-campus job, give you the information on the link and the contact, teacher assistant, market research assistant, tutor. So these are all positions that they have available for international students to, to, to work in the university. And they give you then, it walk you through all the information also, again, about work permit for international students. They also have some information sections that they provide for international students. So it's good to know you have a lot of links here. And that's just an example with the university. And most of the universities in Canada will have uh, that kind of arrangement. So international students can get information on how can, can they stay in compliance with the law so they don't get in any trouble, and the choices they have as international students to work in Canada. So I hope you enjoy this uh, section, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much.